today. I just wanted to uh, come to you today and speak to you about something that I haven't heard on the internet addressed very much. Um, I notice that a lot of people on the internet, whenever they get angry at somebody, they like to throw the word pedophile at them, even though that that person that they're calling that is most likely not a pedophile. Um, they use that word just to make somebody mad, and they think it upsets them and uh, gets them all riled up. In some cases, that's true. It does get them upset. Um, but I think, in my opinion, that whenever you do that, and um, you people know who you are, uh, when you use that word, you yourself are victimizing children because there are law enforcement officers, there are watchdog groups, there are people who actually track pedophiles on the internet and on YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, My Yearbook, any of them. And anytime you use that word and you accuse somebody of being a pedophile, you are making it that much harder for them to track the real pedophiles. You are making it easy for the pedophiles to hide. I'm very I don't want to say that I'm upset about this, but I am very passionate about this. And whenever you do use that word, and you have no justification for using that word, you yourself are victimizing a child. I'm not calling you a pedophile, because you're not. All I'm saying is, you are victimizing another child by doing that. You are making it that much harder, that much easier for a pedophile to hide. It's just like the words that people say, gay, faggot. That word has no value to anybody anymore. When you get on somebody's web page and you call them gay or faggot, it has absolutely no effect because you have taken that, that word and the effect of that word and the meaning of that word and totally distorted it and it doesn't have any meaning or power to anybody anymore. Just like the word pedophile. When you go around calling people pedophiles, you are taking the power and the meaning of what that word is and what that word is meant for and you were taking the power away from it and you were just calling everybody these names and um, you were making it so much easier for the pedophiles to hide. What kind of gratitude do you actually get anyways from calling somebody a pedophile? Is it just to make them mad? Yeah, that's the only reason you're doing it. It's like the little boy who cried wolf. Eventually nobody believed him anymore. So um, you people that are out there using this word, abusing this word, if you can't find some other way to make somebody mad, you can be a hater, you can be a troll, you can do whatever you want, you go ahead. If that's the only thing that you can find to make somebody mad, then um, you'd be proud of yourself because uh, you yourself are victimizing the children. You're making it harder for them to be attracted because every time you use that word, you put it on there, a computer program picks it up, they look, they find out that it's BS and they then ignore it. You have then taken sources away, resources, valuable resources of people that who are actually do care about pedophiles that are, that are on the internet um, going after children. You don't care about pedophiles hurting children. You just want to use the word to hurt somebody. In a sense, you're kind of just like them. Hurt somebody. That's all you want to do. That's the reason you use that word. So I hope you're um, proud of yourself when you do that, and I hope that uh, you find um, some sort of, uh, I guess you do find some sort of joy and jolly in it, but you really are a sick, sick individual when you do that.